Authorities in Beltrami County are investigating a mystery tonight. The sheriff's office says there was a bright flash in the sky last night, and then a few seconds later, a loud boom in the Bemidji area. As Joe Mason reports, at first authorities thought it was a meteor, but now they say that's unlikely. Yes, there have been ET visitation. There have been crashed craft. There have been uh, material and bodies recovered. And I saw this person, and it had big eyes. That's all I saw about it, big eyes. We just knew that they were not from this planet. I couldn't believe it, because what I was seeing wasn't possible. It was like that, and then all of a sudden it just turned on its side and I could see that it was a round disc. One object approached us at very high speed. Was this a warning? Was this an attempt to communicate? Was this a weapon or just a probe? Just as suddenly as it appeared, click, it disappeared. He never said anything. It's just that the face is the eyes. There was no talking. It's all just images in the head. Telepathic communication. They were trying to communicate trying to tell us something it was something to do with the environment. I kept getting these thoughts and ideas in my mind of technology. Technology is not helping, technology is bad. They want people to know that we're actually making harm on this world and we mustn't get too technologed. After that, I was told that I would be prosecuted under the Official Secrets Act and I was told that um, there wasn't anything there when I knew there was. Uh, and that I had to keep quiet about it. You have not seen this. Yeah, well. You do not talk about it. You'll be in trouble if you do. The public has a right to know. We should allow people to make a judgment on what that might have been by disclosing. <laughs> My God. It's hurting. Declassified U.S. government documents and witness testimony from former or retired U.S. military personnel confirm beyond any doubt the reality of ongoing UFO incursions at nuclear weapons sites. What you have heard here today is evidence of a phenomenon. It sounds fantastic, and it is fantastic. Malmstrom was America's first line of nuclear defense. Its silos packed with Minutemen missiles each one nearly a hundred times more powerful than the bomb that devastated Hiroshima. Launch officers could, within minutes of confirmation, send their birds arcing 6,000 miles to incinerate key Soviet cities, triggering a war that would end our civilization. Screaming into the phone saying uh, they're looking a red glowing object hovering just above our front gate. Our missiles began going into what's called a no-go condition or unlaunchable. Essentially, they were disabled. We have UFOs in the air. These witnesses are some of the most highly vetted military officers in charge of the world's most devastating armaments. UFOs have been making incursions into top security nuclear facilities decade after decade. To me, it's pretty clear. This is just, we're shining a light on this. We're pointing it out. What are you people doing with nuclear weapons? These objects gave the impression that they wanted to be seen. With these enormous spotlights, there was no way that they were trying to hide. So why? That is, that is the main question. Why do these objects want to be seen? Nobody has to agree that why it's there, but shouldn't we at least be spending some money to study all these phenomena? Should we study this stuff? Think about the possibilities what we may discover technologically, how we might solve the energy crisis, how we might raise our standards of living.